because you make a you make a, a statement about you know I should not fight the way I do. Remember that I you said that the, uh, I didn't like the way he fight. He should follow the rules. He should do protection in a regular ring. And then I answer you back. You see my answer, right? No, no. <laughs> Before you're an actor, you're a martial artist, right? It's the martial art to bring you to doing movies. Am I right? So we share the, the, the common, uh, common... Common love, I think, everybody else. Yeah, exactly. So, and I don't like to hear from other people. I always love to come and see in person, see the guy, and then talk to the guy, and make, clear, make things clear in, in person, right? So, yeah, here I am. No, no, I'm trying to squid. I used to. Yeah, I mean, um, I think uh, the press is just uh, always trying to make uh, news out of uh, negativity. And uh, a lot of it is just uh, sometimes clever editing of the quotes. I always say that, uh, you know, people that uh, love the uh, martial art, it doesn't matter what style, you know, it's, it's uh, the same passion. Exactly. Yeah, the same passion, and we try and just pursue the love. And then a lot of people have it, but they don't pursue. It. You know, people like life on short, but they never have the chance or the opportunity to pursue it. Yeah, true, true. And we do, you know, and or we we go for it. And but I can see that here. This is the thing, right? <laughs> yeah, living the passion. Yeah, exactly. And that's what we have in, in common. Quite fortunate. How long have you been doing martial arts? I got more than 20 years, for sure. I think since I was 10 years old. And then, uh, for, uh, I, I, I stopped competing when I was 26. But, uh, I, uh, went into more of, uh, just light training and teaching. Teaching? Yeah. And then, uh, but mostly now I, I don't even, because uh, my student is good enough to, to run the class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I just sit back and, and enjoy their, and their passion. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah that's just, uh, you know, every day I just love to relax and just watch the kid train. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So now you're, you're pushing the next generation, right, to, to yeah, improve it. When I was young, I loved to have a place to train. Sometimes you don't have a, a good school around, you know, so I'm just trying to provide a, a place for people who love to yeah, yeah. uh, train, come train. And, uh, it, you know, the activity of, of martial arts is not, never about business. You're, you're trying to... <laughs> I know <laughs> that, I know that. I could do more money elsewhere do than in martial like art, you know, when we do that because we really... Like you said, first, we have a love for this beautiful thing, you know, it's martial art, you know? At a young age, I always question, you know, why the, the passion for, what's the drive for my, you know? And uh, as, I, as I grow up in this, this uh, I wouldn't say this uh, martial art is philosophy, it's, it's the way, right? I mean, every martial art is the, the Tao, right? And yeah, like the way, yeah, exactly. The way, why is it not the style, but the Tao? ask myself, where's the way lead to, right? But it, it's not written in like a religion or anything, it's not written. Well, you have to fight in yourself by doing martial arts. Yeah, you're yeah. just fighting yourself, you're just training how to lose, basically. Yeah, <laughs> it's the true. first day you start in martial arts, you think you're training to win. I know, I know. You're just training to lose that ego. But you know, the thing is, what I love, my grandmaster told me, you know, that uh, the worst enemy you have is the one you see every morning when you browse your two. I love him. <laughs> you see, and it's true. When you do martial arts, it's fine. It's fight against yourself, you know. Yeah. Sometimes you don't want to train, but okay, I'm going to go train. You know, sometimes you don't want to teach. It's always about you, you know. Yes, yeah, yeah, fantastic. I love to see that. Yeah. The young martial artists, when they first come in, they don't really see that philosophy. No. Yes, they think, you know, they train to get better, to beat, you know, somebody else. Exactly, exactly. And then at the point, and then ultimately they realize, man, I've been just beating myself. 
the the one self that wanted to be. <laughs> exactly, exactly. But you take time. It it's take time, you know. Time. When we're it's younger, really like we said, no, no, exactly. Really because when we're younger, it's about you know winning over the others, and but no, 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 it's it's here. Yeah. Well, this is why. Oh, it's good that I'm talking to you because um, I think we have the same and same point um, you know, of view of martial art when you're really into it, right? right. And uh, this is why sometimes um, I do exchange, but not to um, be the best. You know, you cannot be the best. It's, it's, it's impossible, you know. It's like trying to conquer the limitless. Exactly. <laughs> you, hey, I love this. Yeah. <laughs> But it's not about that, it's about, you know, the, the drive, the feeling to learn, even if you lose, you know, this is what I love of martial arts. You did competition before, right? You know, remember the first time you came to the ring, you don't know the guy, that feeling, that drive, you know, but it's only in, in you, you see? It's the challenge toward yourself. Exactly, because sometimes you lose because you lose against yourself, you know? This yeah, that's what the normal people don't get and I think that's what the press don't get. You know, oh. they think it's the challenge of something else, but it's not. It's not really. The ultimately, the the challenge is it's here. Yeah, yeah exactly. The, the guy inside. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, cool. Though. That's why. Okay. That's why. You know, when I lately, I they told me, asked me, what do you like about Johnny? You know, as martial artist. You know, to tell the truth, I didn't know much because, but. When I say, okay, I'm going to look at Johnny, and then I see you start doing movies, then I go back. Man, you're here very good at kicks, you know, that's really impressed me, the kicks. How long you put to do those kicks, you know? And, uh, and they asked me, what do you want, what do you want, why do you want to go see Johnny? And I said, I'm going to say anything, because if I said that long, it's going to be that later on, you understand? You, see, you wouldn't believe how many... Phone calls I get from the press lately, I just don't answer. <laughs> no, I can see that. <laughs> but because I believe that. I, I talk to, you know, since my, my time as being uh, an actor, I talk to many press. Yeah, yeah. And always when I read the article, I go, oh, well, you know, that's not really what, <laughs> what I said. Exactly. <laughs> you know, lately, I have an example. Lately, uh, you know, Twin Hack and the other story? And then one newspaper came and I said a joke. He said, I'm going to stop playing Tom and Jerry, you know. But I just see that they make a big, big uh, story about my joke. But my joke was very simple. I believe they, uh, they tried to find every bad image. Right. They even like, I don't read the news, yes. But uh, some friends uh, share like some news clips. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Photos or articles on yeah, yeah, yeah. Facebook to me. And I just look and I go, wow. The way they portray portray you is yeah. like the bad guy, the Yeah, yeah <laughs> the troublemaker. Yes, yes. yes. The troublemaker, I know, and I know. And they go, you know what, I know the press. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. But it makes more um, noise, okay? Uh, well, after, after when we finish the, um, all that, we will have another conversation more like uh, uh, what can I say martial artist yeah okay mm. <laughs> uh, and I can say more about my background where I came from uh, because, and I want to hear from you you know mm. because you have a lot of things a lot of things I can learn from you yeah. you know we always have many yeah. things to learn from each other <laughs> so uh, and Something that my master teach me, mm. I always try to put in an application. When you say something, you do it. So mm. I always trying to keep my word. You know, back in the days, I'm gonna come see Johnny. I'm gonna shake the hands. I'm gonna do it. I'm not just a guy who's talking. You know, because a lot of people just talking. Yeah. And when the time comes, nothing happens, You know. Mm. And it's it's funny because uh, my shorts we visit other school quite often. <coughs> I do that all the time, you know, when I go to a new city or even yeah, India, yeah. I go visit the school. And here we have many martial artists visit the school. It doesn't have to be like press noisy. <laughs> I know, I know, I know that. <laughs> it's quite normal. Like, I get some people calling me up and they say, no, no, it's, it's, it's very normal to visit a martial arts school. <laughs> Of I do it all the time. Yeah. And we have great martial artists come here all the time too. 
for some reason, you know, being, um, I think, we're generating negativity um, into martial art by the press. And that's not what we want to do. You know, we want parents to look at martial art as a way to, place to put their kids in, to train, to get you know, more discipline, to have a you know, stronger will. Yeah, health, and mentally health. Himself, you know, yeah, you don't want to portray martial art that way. You know, I, I tell people that in martial art, it's, uh, it's, uh, you come in, you naturally have a lot of maybe testosterone or negative energy inside. Yeah, you know, yeah. Out in the world, yeah. yeah. You run into that. And you go in the dojo and you you beat the hell out of it. And you let it that all out, you know. What did you bring back home with positive energy? Okay. What did you bring out to the world positive energy? Um, and, uh, you know, it's, it's not about learning the aggression here. About letting the aggression go in the dojo. <laughs> exactly, and, and the dojo is the only place you you, you would discover some things you didn't even know about yourself. You know, when you remember when you were a beginner when you started the martial art, you don't know your ability, you don't know your weakness, you know. And then <laughs> by doing it, you're starting to discover yourself. You know, it's a beautiful path. And so that's why um, even today, you know, what we're doing now is a good example of how martial art, martial art can really exchange, you know? Mm. Sometimes, okay, we're going to use the press, okay, the press is here, okay. But at the end, it's about the mutual respect and the, the, the good part of visiting other school. Like you said before, you know, mm. it's very normal to visit other school when you're doing it in a good way with respect, you know? Yeah. And then you can share, like, uh, share knowledge, share passion, you know? Mm. It's, um, you know, when we come into um, martial art, we always, when we come into <coughs> martial art, we, uh, we first learn the martial art, we always get beat up by the, the guys. The, the elder. The yeah. elder. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> true. Oh, my God. I remember that very well. Come on, right? Who, who comes in very good at the beginning. So, um, we actually learn how to do this. Yeah. We have learned how to lose a uh, a cockiness, yeah. ego, <laughs> a ego, <The> ego, <laughs> that ego, yeah, yeah. And as the thing about martial artists is, that as we get good, you know, as we get better, the more we train. Of course, it comes with a lot of uh, determination, and commitment. Yes, that has to. We kind of have to kill away the the laziness, the, all the you know, the aggression to, in order to grow in martial art. The more we train, we get better. And when we look at the new people coming in, we don't really disrespect them, right? That's for us, us. <laughs> but that's what I love, you know, you change the role. You know, before you receive the teaching, yeah. after you have to give it back. Right. You know, been there, done that, you know, so you have experience, so it's up to you now to let the other people grow, you know, take care. Yeah, yeah. And you look at them and you see, oh, that was that was me, you know, that was me a long time ago. That was the guy who was clumsy and couldn't even get the technique, even though I see it and I can't. The body is just not connected, you know. Yeah, yeah. The neural. Is yeah, yeah. Not, uh, it's here, but it doesn't come the connection. Yeah, you know, you know. And so, I mean, sometimes that's the joy of teaching for me, you know, to um, see, you know, me in. <laughs> the previous um, passion in, in, inside, you know, the young people. Yeah, yeah. And now it's like, uh, it's very relaxing to just uh, walk around and then look at them train. <laughs> and then I also try to start um, run org uh, competition. Oh, yeah? Yes, I, I organize quite a few competition here. MMA? I organized the first MMA competition in Vietnam here. Oh, yeah. And I did that about, I don't know, about eight MMA competitions before uh, the government said, just temporary, not legal, you know, to run MMA yeah. Before there's no rule. Yeah, yeah. But uh, they're trying to um, 
I would say sanction it, you know. So maybe the time will come when we can run it again. But then after that, I, um, I run the competition uh, that is kind of like Muay Thai, but we allow takedown. Okay, okay. Uh, no ground K1, fight. like K1? Yeah. Kind of K1? Yeah, yeah, kind of. You know, you allow all kind of takedowns. Yeah, yeah. To make it uh, uh, more, more open for all, all martial artists. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, all martial arts included. Yes. And, uh, Interesting. It's, it's not um, because, let's say, in uh, certain certain style, they allow uh, take down, but not uh, kick or punch. Some some style like judo, you know, some yeah, style yeah. allow kick and punch and knee and elbow, but not you cannot grab the weights or grab the leg and take down or sweep or anything. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we we could not do MMA, but we do. More of a more free, more free. You know, stand up and take down. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So interesting. We, we ran quite a few of those competitions. Oh yeah. Lately, last year. Um, and then just recently, about two months ago. Now. Oh yeah, I missed that. Okay. Uh, so that encouraged a lot of. The in here. I ran a lot of competition in here, but uh, last year I ran a lot around in Da Nang and recently in Chiang Mai in, in the oh. south. Which means it's uh, more difficult to get the permits for me. Uh, oh yeah. It's uh, very, I guess, still very political. Uh, there's many, many sides. Yeah? In other places, easier. But hopefully, in the near future, we get to run more. How old are you? I'm 44. 40? Oh my god, you don't look like. <laughs> yeah, still young, man. Still young. Yeah, yeah, it doesn't look like that old. Yeah, it's funny because um, Victor, uh, Victor Kui and uh, the one FC came here. Because they're trying to get the one FC to get down, yeah? Yeah. And, uh, and, um, he asked me if I wanted to compete in the one of three. <laughs> really? Yes, yeah. <laughs> and I said, I haven't competed since I'm 26. That's like 8 to 19 years ago. <laughs> Long time ago, yeah, yeah. So, uh, but uh, my student, uh, he's in the hey. in the lock. He's, he's, he's uh, still in, in, in the field of he's battle. He's in uh, the one of three now. So, he's, uh, he's on the top here. He, uh, he was scheduled to fight three times, but we couldn't get the visa. Really? Uh, okay. Vietnamese is very hard to get the visa to go to Macau, so we have to wait for... Uh, hey, nice to meet you. Yeah. <laughs> so we have to wait for... Uh, for uh, what is it to organize a competition in a Southeast Asian country where it's easier for Vietnamese to compete. Uh, yeah. uh, that'd be very soon. Uh, you're the teacher? Yeah. So you're the one who's teaching everything. I I, I try. <laughs> oh right. He's, uh, he's, he learned fast, and then yeah. we have other, you know, uh, in our way, we always encourage more exchange. Yes, not not necessary, but he, even like my grandfather time, we started the this way of, of training. He would invite different style to come in and teach his son. Um, like, uh, yeah, and he encouraged uh, my, my uncle and my dad to go out and learn different styles. Exactly. Yeah. So, I mean, for him, he learned many styles, but uh, my grandfather started the martial arts. But uh, at different times, there's more styles that come to Vietnam. When he was in, when it was this time, it's more like uh, the traditional Vietnamese art, the Cambodian style martial art, you know, Some Chinese the Khmer and, uh, and the Chinese, more those, and you know, that's what he, that's what he loved and that's what he trained. But when, you know, my uncle and my uh, dad time, more style like uh, karate, Judo and Aikido and 
Uh, the, 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 the classical uh, stuff. Yeah, the, 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 the more wider area yeah. comes to Vietnam. So he will encourage them to go out and learn. So um, the way we, we run it's very uh, open. You know, we learn more, more and we use whatever it works. Okay, thank you. Um, next time I come here, I'll come in four months, five months, okay? Without the press, okay? Without the press, okay? <laughs> I will come here and train with you guys, okay? Okay, but no press, just like uh, as a martial artist, yes. okay? It would be fantastic. Okay, uh, but uh, for me, the first step is very important, no? To see the person, mm. see the, feel the vibe, you know what I mean? And uh, after it, we can do what we want. It's an action, you know. Like we can talk about martial arts. For, you know that. Do you have any idea what are the rumors they said before I come here? I try not to okay. pay attention. I, I let you know because I was concerned. <laughs> they told me that I'm gonna get in the trap. They're gonna jump on me. They're gonna attack me. They're gonna put me KO. It's gonna take ten guys waiting for me outside the door. You have no idea what they're saying. Okay. <laughs> That Johnny's making you a trap. Uh, it's crazy, crazy stuff, you know. No rumors in the press will always be like that. <laughs> How long you been doing martial arts? It's uh, four to five years. Yeah, it's your, oh yeah, yeah. This is my, my master. Okay. So what is the next competition? You don't know yet, right? It depends on the visa, yes, right? Yes. Yeah. I think the next one will be soon because uh, I, I mean we missed three times already. <laughs> oh yeah, these attempts and fail. Well, one time because uh, he went to well the first time because he he went to Malaysia and uh, he he competed in uh, Malaysia and he won the tournament there, the MMA tournament there. So uh, that's when uh, ONSC want to bring him in, you know, to the to the roster. And uh, schedule a fight for him right away. But during the fight in the uh, Malaysia, he had a small torn toe, like the ligament, so he couldn't compete that time. Fast forward six months later, when he could compete, he scheduled for Macau, right? and then we say, "Oh, great, fantastic!" So, but we find out the visa for Vietnamese to go to Macau is one thousand three hundred dollars each person. Are you kidding me? <laughs> yeah. to, to get the visa for one person, how do we bring the whole team to support him? <laughs> It'd be like twenty thousand dollars. It's crazy. But. <laughs> so we couldn't go. And then the next one they scheduled for Shanghai. We said, okay, Shanghai is be easy, China. Yeah, yeah. But then right before we go, they said, well, you have to get a business visa <laughs> because you go there to fight for money. And then you have to pay tax and things like that. And then we couldn't get the business visa in time. It's business visa, it's like, you know, a lot more yeah, paperwork. Yeah, yeah. I think, I think he's, he's, he's in the good, yeah, yeah. mature time to fight now. The more you wait, the more you want to fight. The, the more energy you have. Exactly. <laughs> like, like, inside, like this. Yeah, I know, I know, I know what I mean. I feel that with one hack, but now I give up. So it's the same thing, you know, like uh, eight years or, you know. But I understand. Yes, Be patient. That's good. Um, so you open every day here? Every day on the week? Not me? Here. I, I live here. No, but it's open every day? Oh, you were here when I came li yes, before. I was sleeping here. You should have just tell the guy to go wake me up. <laughs> I live here. <laughs> uh, okay, I yeah, see. we kind of live in this. Uh, okay, you know, everybody okay. live here. <laughs> have like maybe 15 people yeah. and um, here back here, we like see, see the kids are training right now it's very uh, traditional uh, we keep we keep what is traditional traditional the one part traditional yeah, one we, part more modern we keep the the core of what is needed you know because uh, I feel as, as we grow more as a sport we, we let go of the Uh, the route. The route where it's more about which is uh, being a strong in inner strength as opposed to trying to achieve. You know, as a sport, you're trying to achieve. You reach out. 
you know, you're not trying to reach in. Exactly. Yeah. When you're champion, you're champion one day, but the day after? <laughs> yeah, you live with yourself and you have to beat the, the guy in here. So we try to, of course, adapt with uh, the, the grow of the sport. Yeah. But keeping the core. Uh, like what is you see, because I went to see out there, out there there's pictures. That's your grandfather? Yeah, that's my grandfather. <laughs> that your father? My you? father's father. Oh, your uh, grandfather? Yes. Yeah, so oh, this there. is your father. Okay. That's my grandfather up there. <laughs> okay, okay. And uh, my, uh, my father is in the state. <laughs> in the state? Yeah. You, you were born here? I was born here in uh, 1974. Yeah. And then I moved to the state in 83. Yeah, 83, okay, okay. And then uh, I came back here in 2005. So, um, yes, you said the, the, we have a lot of customers lately because uh, <laughs> rumors of you coming. Say, well, that's one good thing. <laughs> it's a good thing, it's a good for you, of course. <laughs> It's, um, but that's that's the good thing about when you are, you put in the, the, this beautiful part of martial art of exchange. It doesn't need all the time be technical exchange. You know, sometimes the first step is the more important step is to know the person. You can feel the person. Okay, you know the the, the really intention of the person. And later, it's, it's easier. You know, if you do exchange because you're already friend. Mm. Understand? But this is very important. You know, the the, the step of coming, talking, sharing. And knowing the other people, and we uh, have many. Uh, sometimes we have uh, guest teacher, <coughs> like uh, we have a martial artist that comes from maybe Russia, you know, yeah. and uh, he okay. he offers his time in, in Vietnam, you know, to, to, to share his knowledge, and uh, we run like a seminar for some of our fighters. And then we have guys from, you know, like MMA fighter from maybe Australia or something they come. And we we often promote, you know, the, the guest teacher to come and train here. We have guys from like the, another martial art to come. Because uh, I feel that uh, how we grow is by, by sharing, not by separating. <laughs> Exactly. Yes. Put an application, but well, you you did a lot of fight before, right? You did exchange long back long. in the days, you know, like. <laughs> but you did, right? Long time and, ago. Uh, <laughs> well, you're doing now, but you used to do before. This is the best way to 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 what can I say? To understand when it's martial art, you know. Don't you agree? When I look back. It's the best way to challenge your home self. But exactly, but <clears throat> that's the, the goal of it, that's you know? Mentality, yeah. I encourage people to compete, you know, because uh, through competition, they, they really grow a lot more. You can train as a hobby, and uh, it, uh, it will be like a hobby. It will be fun activity. Mm, but to really, really understand deep into the heart you compete and then people push you to train to the limit yes yeah. and only at the limit do you discover uh, you know that, that truth the Tao exactly <laughs> the Tao. Yeah, yeah. and if you know you don't get it yet you keep going you keep going you keep going by trying to achieve 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 by trying to acquire you will learn that in the end it's about not acquiring you, you have it all already. <laughs> it's about. This is your father who teach you this. Is your father who teach you? Your grandfather? He cannot teach but you one know. thing, but there is always a main person who really. My father uh, really encouraged me uh, and lay out the, the background. But uh, when I when I get it, I realize martial art is not about the words. You know, my grandfather, he said one line that is very, very simple. Martial sure, art, it's not about talking, it's about, about doing. <laughs> I love this. You know, uh, uh, my grandmother said, let the hands talk. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's the best way, you know. 
But it, it's about the, the inner discovery, and we cannot teach that verbally. You can say sometimes to the... Not much. Yes, the, the more mature student, and then eventually it kind of click. You know, as they train, as they just try to maximize themselves. They, they find it inside. It's self-discovery. Uh, <laughs> But this is a way of saying that uh, the techniques are the tools to go somewhere, but the philosophy is to understand why you have to go there. So you always need both, you know? I think in the end, um, you find that you travel home. <laughs> True. <laughs> and, uh, I mean, you think you're traveling somewhere, but... It's going home. <laughs> yeah, true, true, exactly. Well, so um, I'm coming back on July, I think. July, because we in July we're gonna make a bridge. Yeah, every year we try to make things for. Um, we make bridges in the south of uh, Vietnam so the people can cross. You know? oh. Every year we make a, a charity um, back at the school in Canada, and we build bridge. So I'm gonna come around July, June, July, and then when I come here, we'll come train with you guys. Wonderful. Okay. Uh, Only <laughs> us. Okay. Yeah. Okay. We're gonna because uh, now it's the press, but later it's gonna be only us. We're gonna. Train. I'm gonna. I'm gonna see how good you are. This is this is good. So we. But you, you can show me some skill with your kicks. You're still doing the kicks. Come on. No, no, no. No, no, no. Come on. Don't say no. I say this. Uh bunch of dancing particles that are in here, not meant for this anymore. <laughs> oh, you, you, you turn the page, come on. You hit a point when you realize that you're already there. There's no more... Ah, okay, you reach, you reach the... Um... <laughs> There's no need to travel. <laughs> it's a very fantastic feeling. All the time. Now I enjoy my pond over there. You're taking care of the trees and even video games. <laughs> oh, you have? What are you playing? I play soccer. A oh, FIFA? Yeah, I play uh, PES. Oh, yeah, PES. You're good at it? Yeah, you're good. Pretty good. <laughs> you play online? I not play online, I just play at home. Okay. Uh, online is a different story. Yeah, I if know. I think there's so many... Uh, too many good players on there. I, 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 don't, I don't want to challenge myself gotta, anymore. It's not good for your ego. <laughs> let, let, let it there. I don't want to challenge myself anymore. It's just about enjoyment. Yeah, okay. <laughs> so when the level is too hard, I put it down. Okay. Just, I can have fun now. Okay. <laughs> <Yes. laughs> okay. So, um, okay, good. So, on, um, Maybe I'm going to ask my students, because my students sometimes they come here to Saigon. I told to come, because here there's a lot of martial art. Very nice place for martial art. And I come to Vietnam, you can discover really like martial art here and martial art in Canada. It's completely different. You know? Canada is more like a hobby. You know, like a hobby, oh, I'm doing martial art, and after six months they quit. But here, just the Vietnamese, when they follow a master, they really mean it. You know, like they're more serious about it. Yeah, I told my story. I come. think that everywhere there is uh, maybe different type, you know. Some yeah, yeah. the same. They just like it because they see it on TV, you know. Yeah, Some yeah. Some people, uh, that's their way of life. Exactly. They can live without it, basically. So, <laughs> usually they told come here and make visits some schools, so I can tell to come see you guys, my Please, students. Yeah. So, exchange the... That's what I want to do is like... We um, have a few uh, students that probably the foreign. So you have the one guy from Switzerland. Yeah. He he does security work, and maybe for six months he makes enough money. He come to Vietnam. He live for six months. He come train here, and then he had the money. Go back. Security work. Come here. Six really? <laughs> That's amazing. He did that three times already. Oh Wonderful yeah. Wonderful guy. And then uh, we have like a lady from Germany. You know. She works and she only has maybe just a week of vacation a year. And, and she come here. Fantastic. Nice. Okay, so I will uh, I will give them the um, 
Oh, we'll contact. We'll contact and then we... Uh, but we, we always open. Yeah. 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 Uh, seven days a week. That's why you don't go to downtown. You're you're very happy here. <laughs> you don't need to go there. Yeah, it's oh. my passion here. Yeah, it's my it's beautiful. Yeah, yeah I understand now. I understand. <laughs> like, first, you told me you said, why the guy doesn't come to downtown? You know, when I come see here, it's okay. I understand oh, now. Yeah, no traffic, no light, yeah. no sounds. And <laughs> I don't like to go into the traffic area. It's just stuck in there. <laughs> okay, well. Johnny, really a pleasure to meet you. Thank you. And um, I will see you guys in a few months. I will come here and uh, we will do martial art. Good? All right, thank you for having me. It will be great, yeah. Wonderful to meet you. Me too. <laughs> You're really a good That's guy. Hard, yeah? <laughs> yeah. We're going to play a game one day. We're going to show you who is good. <laughs> All right. Meet you. you too, so yeah. I'll see you in a few months, okay? <laughs> All right. We wait for you, okay? <laughs> yes, I will let you know. I'll contact. <laughs>